angry guy here, and women don't realize that men aren't coming back. Guys, women don't realize that men aren't coming back after years of uh, hashtag me too and and all these other terrible hashtags and you know ostracizing men from society. You know, women don't realize men aren't coming back. They don't realize men are done. They seem to think that this passport bro thing is only temporary. They, they, they seem to think that, you know, they're going to get the man that they want. I Guys, I, I, I literally told you that I had a friend. She's not talking to me anymore. She's pissed off with me. This is a girl. I, I, I'm just letting you know how, how crazy this person is. This is a girl who was once living, who was living in a church. She was living in a church, and she had gotten robbed, and her father passed away, and she basically told me that the man of, that she's going to get the man of her dreams. She's gonna get the she's gonna get the man she wants. She's broke. She's asking me for help, asking me for work, asking me to help her out, and I'm like, no. And she's like, you know, I, you know, I, I literally said to her, you know, what are you going to do for me? Are you going to, are, are we going to fuck for it or what? And she's like, oh, hell, oh, no, 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 no. So I'm like, what good are you to me? And she's like, you know, I was like, I don't know what kind of simp shit she thinks this is. And, uh, you know, she told me that, no, she wants a man who's at least over six feet, like, you know, like six, three, six, three. He has to be thick. So he has to be big and muscular. All right. And he has to have all these other characteristics, kind and compassion. And he has to be a protector and a provider. And that's just the bare minimum. She literally said that's just the bare minimum. This is a girl who was living in a church. OK, her cell phone is always broken. You know, her phone doesn't doesn't even work. OK, can't eat, can't afford food. Constantly getting scammed by the world. Like, I, I mean, she is constantly getting fucked over getting ro- like robbed at the ATM like literally told to empty her empty empty her account and she has no humility whatsoever no humility whatsoever and she's going to get the exact man that she wants and she is she's like 27 28 now and she's over she's all she's overweight she's overweight she's almost 30 and and she's like, this is the kind of bullshit that she's going on with. So you're overweight. You're almost thirty, and you know you're 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 literally on the struggle bus. I mean, like you're really up there. You know, one of your parents has passed away. Your, your father's passed away, and your mother's old as fuck. And I think she has a brother who doesn't even speak to her. And she doesn't give a shit. Like she's in some like life or death. She's always in some life or death shit, all right. It's only by the grace of God or what why she why she hasn't expired yet, and she's on this bullshit. And this is how all, a lot of women are today. Like they are, they don't get it. They've they've been putting up they've been putting up this front, going on with this bullshit, and they've taken advantage of lots of men. A lot of good men have come and gone. You know, they sleep around, they have high body counts, and they think that they're going to they're gonna go and get some get a millionaire. I was watching the Fresh and Fit podcast, and you know, Myron literally said something along the lines of to this chick that was crying, like, you know, you know, why would a guy who's a millionaire want someone like you know, want someone like you know, like you? And she's she she says some shit like we're not talking about broke boys. Broke boys, people who make less than a million dollars a year. She was calling guys who make less than a million dollars a year broke boys. If you don't make at least a million dollars a year, you're a broke boy. So, guys, like, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, these women, they don't realize men are coming back. They think this is a complete and utter game. They always thought that because they had, because, you know, because of, because of, pussy they would always there was always going to be a way out for them like men would always desire them and they're out of their damn minds most men aren't even getting laid today most men are not even getting laid or they're not getting laid often they're just literally checked out all right a lot of guys are just staying home playing playstation and watching tv all right let's look at this video i was a little like like damn yeah I don't want this to break. 
when he's your only friend and you just found out he cheated? Cry. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Women Crying Over Chad. And I know, I know, you keep asking me in the comments why would a woman set up a camera and cry about a personal relationship online for millions of people? To guys, I don't know about these chicks anymore. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with these women. What you know, they got. You know, there's a saying that women are born rich and die poor, and men are born poor and die rich. And it really go, it really comes back to it, because these women are out of their fucking minds. You know, they're out of their fluffy fucking minds, because they've got everything they wanted. And guys, I actually said this years ago. I said that feminist, women are going to say feminism got us everything that we wanted. Now let's fight it together. And this is literally what we're seeing happening in society as women are going ballistic when they realize that guys like Dylan Mulvaney are not fucking around. He's literally laying, he's literally putting these women in check like, all right, bitches, I'm here to take what's yours, all right? Womanhood is mine, all right? Womanhood is mine. Oh, I love that Barbie pouch over there. Like, this guy's literally calling them Barbie pouches. He, guys, like, they're, they've literally come up with some real rude... Disrespectful terms for women, calling them because like um, birthing parents, bleeders, <laughs> all kinds of real dis disrespectful shit, and it's like I don't feel sorry for them. I mean, basically, men have had their lives ripped, ripped, ripped apart, their identities ripped away from them, and now women are crying like ah oh, whatever, and they seem to think that men are gonna come back and save them. There's no, there's no captain save a hoe. These simps are simps, and a simp can't save you. A simp cannot save themselves. To see, and I have only one answer for attention. What do you eat? Attention. Guys, I just want to point something out before we go to the next clip. I just want to highlight to you guys that me and Manosphere. We are not editing in the sad music that you see on these clips, by the way. It's literally the women who are sitting here recording themselves crying. They're the ones who edit in the sad piano and the sad music, just in case you were curious. Yeah, these chicks are miserable. Yeah, we broke up and I sued him for sharing our sex tapes. Oh, God. There we go, another one. Guys, these, you know, someone, I, I've heard this before. Someone say that all women are actresses. All women are actresses. They're all putting on a show, you know. They're all they're all putting on a show. The world is their stage, and they're all putting on a show. And honestly, I'm just getting fucking tired of it. You know, I don't want to participate in this shit anymore. You know, and and I think most guys are done with this as well. Most guys are done with this bullshit. They're tired of this shit. They're like, you know what? Fuck this shit. You know, I'm getting off this bus. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not playing with this anymore. I'm not I'm not riding this train. You know, men are leaving women behind and. That's the end of it. And women don't even realize it. They don't realize that men are sick and tired of the crap. They don't realize that men don't want to have any more, have anything else to do with this nonsense. They don't realize that guys are, guys have had enough. And when you've had enough, when you've had enough bullshit, you say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm done. And, and women can't comprehend that modern men are rejecting them. There's not, there's no second chances. They don't realize that men aren't coming back after hashtag me too, after feminism, after all this crap that's happened in society, after men being treated like sh men, have, men are going MWA, walking away from Western women in Western society. The only time a man is going to get married is if it's a Latina or a Filipina from another country and he's not bringing her back to America. Tell you that right now, guys. What? How do you feel about this? I, I mean, do you agree that women don't realize that men aren't coming back? You know, and that right now they're kind of living in a delusional warp because you know they're still attacking men and they don't realize men aren't even looking back at them. They're like, yeah, yes, sis. Good luck. Good. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about this. And also, if you guys want to support the channel and get access to bonus videos that are not released on YouTube because YouTube is still a censored platform, you can go and check out my Patreon, patreon.com. Let me know what you think about this, guys. And if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.